Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, Abaska friends. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, and good wishes from me to you guys all, wherever you are now. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing great, healthy, and happy as much as I am now. My name is Krota Yuni, and I will bring you guys to today's Persia. We begin by praising Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and be, and bearing witness that no one has the right to worship unconditionally except for Him. And also, we bear witness to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is His final messenger. We ask from Allah for His peace and blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his messenger, his family, and everyone that serve alongside them, and those who follow the blessed path until the day of judgment. We ask Allah to make us amongst them. Amin ya rabbal alamin. Um, as as you guys know, we have to thank Allah too to let us enter Ramadan again. This is a mo- this is a month that this is a month full of good deeds, not only about the understanding and the suffering from the poor and needy, but it also gives us an understanding about to get about a sense of togetherness about a sense of togetherness about a sense of togetherness um talking about um so i'm gonna bring today's topic about the more we unite the stronger we will rise talking about unity it's been a while since the latest election day yet some people are still keeping distance and building high walls against against each other um uh, unfortunately we cannot deny the possibility to have different opinions not just in the workspace school space but also in our family so that's why i'm gonna bring this topic today as a human living we live in this one planet called earth side by side with the hope that unity will always our be foundation for our base of life for our base of life um for our base of life not um let me give you a simple example uh no, it unity also gives us an understanding about how life really is and forces us to dig deeper into the history. Let me give you what some of some of you guys may ask: Why history? What kind of connection do they have? Until I mentioned it before, let me give you a simple example. Indonesia, a couple years before Independence Day, about seventy-five years ago, Indonesia was not as big as it is now. We still live among or even under the shadows of invaders. Grown up men and sometimes teenage boys were forced to work for them. Um, days and nights they plan vegetables and spices and, and anything that anything that could invest their economy and life needs. Or rather just to add some good old money to the invaders' pockets. Women and girls were not any better. They were being kidnapped and used as a tool to fulfill the royals and soldiers' lust. It's not that our nation is not trying. It's just that we haven't realized the most important formula for our most long awaited wish. The independence. Be it our president who delayed it or the citizens who are busy with their own business. Fortunately, um, after the long-awaited journey, we got to reach our rights. We quote from the from the experience. We quote the importance of unity, or thought so. In reality, nothing goes as easy as that. In fact, this is 2024, 78 years after the Independence Day, and people are still fighting over some political business. As I already mentioned at the start, this year held an election that makes us to choose the next president. We had to pick one out of the three candidates. Um, everyone got the chance to campaign. Everyone got the chance to invite others to give their voting rights to to the candidate they believe in. But we never got the chance to use any hatred or any worse way to add our votes. To add our votes. So why do we have to fight against each other? That means in the present, we have to present someone to fix to fix this problem and hopefully it is from our generation as a muslim generation we have to um collaborate and participate in the act to bring back the muslim era 
as mentioned in the Holy Quran, Allah said, and hold firmly to the rope of Allah altogether and do not be divided. Ali Imran 103. Aside from the eternal issues, um, we also have to be aware of the external issues. I'm going to point out the Palestine-Israel topic. Pal uh, Israel has been colonizing Palestine since, since 1917. It means more than 100 years they suffer from Israel's depravity. Um, luckily, um, Hamas-led Palestinian fighters began their massive invasion attack at the Gaza Road on 7 October 2023. Um, they start the invasion by, at, uh, by attacks with at least 500,000 of rocket attacks and they, uh, and they got to invade the closest Israel residential and military installation and military installation. Um, the Israel government stated a war declaration as a response by doing the Iron Sword operation. Um, I'm really questioning their brains here. How come their minister said that he would abolish the month of Ramadan? Is he God? Better they vanish by themselves. Uh, I think that's all from me for today's Israel topic because it was actually hard to tell without tears. And to wrap up today's episode, here are a few to retain from my from today's episode. Jadi kesimpulannya yang pertama um, kita bisa mengambil pelajaran bahwa dengan persatuan kita bisa bahwa dengan persatuan kita tuh bisa uh, bangkit menjadi uh, bangkit menjadi lebih kuat dan kita bisa menyelesaikan beberapa permasalahan baik itu permasalahan sekedar bertengkar sama saudara sendiri atau bahkan permasalahan yang lebih besar seperti uh, masalah negara gitu habis yang kedua semoga saja kita bisa uh, semakin menyadari um, apa per, uh, keinginan terbesar kita untuk Palestina adalah dengan kebebasan mereka dan seperti yang kalian tahu kita sekarang sedang berusaha uh, ngeblok dan stop ekonomi Israel dengan melakukan boykot, boykot dari segala merek atau dari segala dukungan untuk mereka. And that's all from me for today's episode. Thanks for clicking this video, and I hope you guys can take good points in my words. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.